Hello, I'm Mary V. Today, let's talk about what to do if you find your bow very heavy and your fourth finger feels very strained. Usually, there are a couple of reasons why the bow can feel very heavy. Not enough other parts of the hand, for example, the thumb and the forearm and the top of the wrist are being used properly to um, lift the bow. Um, so too much work is being done by the fourth finger and that can make the bow extremely heavy. So it's a case of redistributing the, the weight and the holding of the bow and the awareness of that. So the first thing is, if you have your fingers too far apart, it means that the hand becomes very rigid and there's no possibility of movement or adjusting the hand. And I can feel when I do that, that there's a tremendous strain on my fourth finger there, right? So you might uh, have a look at that. And the way to do it is to hold the bow in the middle and just move your fingers into a more natural position with the fourth finger on, on top, yes. But perhaps the fingers need to curl around um, the bow a little bit more. Uh, another thing that is very, very helpful is to lift the bow up into an upright position so it's practically weightless and turn your thumb, bend it so that it's actually touching the hair of the, the bow, the bow hair. So this is temporary, but this makes sure that the thumb is, is starting to be used here. Okay because often people hold the bow and they're thinking about the fourth finger all the time and they're not actually using the thumb. So once we've checked uh, the fingers and we've changed the um, thumb so that it's actually touching the bow hair, we've made some changes so that the hand is a lot closer and it's wrapping around the bow a lot more. Okay, especially the first finger here, right? And uh, touching the bow hair with the thumb means that the knuckle of the first finger is a lot lower. Okay, so, well, that is another cause. If, if the whole wrist and the fingers are too high, that makes the hand extremely rigid and there's no possibility uh, for other parts of the arm to do any of the work of lifting the bow or moving the bow. So those, uh, they're crucial things to check. Okay, all causing rigidity and problems. So you need to have a good look at those. And then you come to exercises that you can do that teach you how to move the bow and your fingers. Um, so it, it feels very light and it is light. So get the bow feeling very weightless and make sure that your thumb is touching the bow hair and then put it pretty close to the string and then let it fall down onto the string so that your hand, your bow arm is very relaxed and then using your, lift it up using your forearm and then back down again. And at the same time, using your forearm and pushing with your thumb from underneath. Do you see? So you're using your forearm and you're using your thumb underneath to push up. Okay. And that will show you um, the difference between what you've been doing before and what you can do, which is using different parts of your arm at different points of the bow to have movement and lifting and to be able to free yourself from feeling that the bow is very heavy. And we're trying to sort of change our perception to um, what we normally feel to this new feeling of lifting the bow with the forearm. So if you lose it again, then just go back to holding the bow like this, right? 
and then see the difference when you do that. So hold the bow and then as you raise your forearm, raise the bow and you'll see that it's possible to raise the bow with the forearm because uh, when you're approaching the string or leaving the string, uh, we don't really think about our forearm, but is, is in fact um, is something that absolutely liberates us uh, from the tensions of, say, for example, if we play softly and we're coming to the heel. The thing that happens there is the forearm, the forearm and the thumb is lifting and balancing the sound so that it doesn't get heavy, it can stay very soft and there's loads and loads of control because obviously the bow gets louder uh, when it comes uh, to the heavier part which is the heel. So that's got to be counteracted and we as violinists learn that very very uh, early. But um, a lot of people miss out the fact that it's actually uh, best done with a forearm. Now, um, another thing is being off the string and being able to make this uh, movement with the fingers, right? Well, you have to leave that until you can do that on the string, okay? Because that's a familiarity thing, that's a practice thing. So you have to go to the middle of the bow, get that movement of the fingers going and think about when you're doing this not only the fingers but the forearm how important the forearm is for um for bowing it's it's everything really it saves you from all the tensions that uh, you experience and it actually liberates you so if you put your forearm out of play uh, you're not thinking about it and it's rather low, then yes, you put a lot of pressure on your fingers to do all the work. And uh, that leads to an awful lot of jerkiness and tensions and difficulties, actually. Everything has to work twice as hard, okay, because you're not using the major part of how you do this. Think about your forearm here. Once you can do that, then um, you can start just doing that one or two times. And you can actually do it with your bow in a slightly more upright position where it's, it's not so heavy. You see, like just like that. So it takes a bit of observation, this really, just by thinking about the forearm, it can be an enormous help. So um, good luck with making the bowl feel um, lighter. I'll leave it there. I'll say bye bye for now.